do we mean by anarchist studies? That's why we're here. And whatever we mean by it, it's probably going to be involved with uh, spontaneity. It's going to be pretty similar, I imagine, to the instructions that we were given uh, to make this video. We were told that we should it shouldn't be scripted, that it should uh, it should appear at least to be spontaneous. Uh, I'm going to be extemporaneous. I'm going to embrace the spontaneity, uh, and I thank you for uh, your uh, compassionate hearing of of what I have to offer, because um, it's perhaps just an opening salvo. Um, I'd like to con I'd like to contrast anarchist with or anarchist studies with archaeology, right? These uh, like archaic they they those three terms share a root word, you know, arche, right? And arche uh, archaic means ancient because it comes from the ancients, uh, uh, the arcane. Uh, which is derived from Arcos, I go first, right? It's about, it's a term, these are those three words, anarchist, archaeology, and archaic, are all concerned with the precedent, you know, who came first. And what I'd like to suggest is that um, whatever we mean by anarchist, there's going to be a really interesting kind of colonial uh, the interesting colonial history that has to be um, played with as we develop our thinking about whatever anarchist studies is, right? So whatever we mean by anarchist today is probably heavily influenced by the rehabilitation of Greek terms during the Euro Western Europe Western Europe's uh, uh, modernizing era, modern, modern mo modernity, right? Uh, particularly when we think about the physiocrats in France, when we think about um, the, 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 the concept of democracy and of republicanism that came out during the, the early modern era, during that colonial period, it, it, came, it came about because it was a colonial period, I would argue. Similar, actually, what we would see also, if we, if we in fact were to dwell with the ancient Greeks, we would probably find a very similar thing happening there as well, right? Our concept of democracy... Um, Democracy was laughed at because it was called anarchy, right? It was, it was, there would be no rulers was, was kind of the joke about democracy. But there was also a competing term at that time, isonomy, isonomia. Uh, isonomia, similar to oikonomia, from, where, from which we get economy. Isonomy was about equal, uh, equal exposure to, nomo, to, to nomos, which is not logos, which is not lex. Nomos was more of uh, the norms, the mores, uh, the ethnic ways of doing things in a particular region. And this was really problematic for the ancient Greeks during the colonial expansion uh, because you might have done things, you know, the, no, the, the nomos might have dictated a certain way of behavior uh, way off in the mainland somewhere, but now that we live on this little island together, we've formed this little colony how are we going to interact with one another? What what about when our when our our our, our habits of, of behaving are in contrast or in conflict with one another? So isonomia was problematic because uh, and democratia and anarchia, all of these things came about in a conversation about like, well, how are we going to treat one another uh, as we seek to expand our economic um, uh, sphere? Of influence, and as we just travel around, as we get exposed to folks we, that we're not familiar with, uh, but that got, gets kind of glossed over. We don't really see that so much in when the modern Europeans are trying to rehabilitate that conversation when they're moving out of monarchism and into what is called democracy today. Um, interestingly, there is in fact another colonial moment here, right? Um, you look at uh, the importation of Chinese ceramics. The concept of um, whatever we mean by anarchy, it's probably going to have some flavor of laissez-faire to it, right? Well, the concept of laissez-faire came about in a conversation about, um, it came about through conversation. The Jesuits introduced this conversation about these Chinese folks had this word, Wu Wei. What, what does Wu Wei mean? Uh, well, Wu Wei literally means no and, and action, right? But uh, the, the expression, the idiomatic expression of Wu Wei is not so much about don't do anything, 
but rather you get the flavor of it by saying when we learned that like this the the the, the sagely individual the authoritative person not the authoritarian but the authoritative person um, has uh, this relationship with Wei that in doing nothing nothing is left undone what does that mean well it speaks to a, a deferential uh, disposition toward the cosmos that the cosmos is a generative process that the way the natural tendency of all things human beings all things included the natural tendency is to be creative to to generate right that the, the natural propensity of all of, all of this is like a constant generation of novelty and so on um, and Wu Wei speaks to a method of maximizing uh, the benefit of that constant generation rather than insisting upon our perspective and our and introducing our principles into well it ought to be this way whatever comes next ought to be this way uh, instead there's this kind of deferential like okay well how are the things unfolding and how do we maximize the benefit of those natural tendencies you know these particular things are happening in this area and given uh, the affordances of them being in this particular space at that time, a certain number of things are possible to come from that. It's not that all things are always possible all the time, but that like there are certain affordances that like certain arrangements create. And Wu Wei is about identifying those arrangements, about understanding the relationships that are possible and the affordances that, that come from being in relation to those objects or those patterns of behavior or uh, just the processes unfolding in that space and at that time. So whatever we mean by anarchist studies, it's going to have this really interesting uh, kind of colonial conversation. Of, uh, it's going to be a cross-cultural dialogue, uh, and it's going to be, I, I imagine, something about Wu Wei. Thanks.